Hello everybody, my name is Joe Carter and I'm going to demonstrate today how to mount my 5 8 inch uh, print and play counters onto uh, some Decision Games blank counters. Uh, these are nice and thick and uh, they're reasonably priced. So I've already pre-cut these. These were printed out on high quality setting uh, photo photo paper and these are 5 8 a little bit smaller than 5 8 inch so they'll fit the 5 8 inch blanks and these are counters for my battles Vietnam uh, these are the optional counters for the Viet Cong units so what I do first is I, I have a glue stick here and I'm going to do glue each one individually. It's a little more time consuming, but the results are better in my opinion. So first I just go like this. I put it on my finger and roll it around. Okay, like that. And then I bend it a little bit down like that so the edges won't stick up. And I just go like that and I align it like that as best I can. Okay. And I put it down here and I push it down. It's good. Good to go. Double check it. Yeah, it's straight. I try to get it as straight as possible. So that's the first one. That's pretty good. So I'll put it over here. And I'll do another one. Again, I'm going to just twirl it around like that to the edges as far as I can. And I check the glue and the reflection to make sure I got the full coverage. I take another counter printout and then I bend it. And then again, I go like that. And it looks quite straight. That's pretty good. And I put it down here and I push it down. That one's done. Pretty straight. Yeah, that's good. And then I'm going to do another one. So, just so you know, these, um, these Decision Games 5 8 inch blanks uh, will work for all of my print and play games on War Game Vault. Just so you know, I, I use the same size counters for all of my games. So it's, it's more convenient if you want to mount them on blanks like this. Okay, that one's done. Double check it. Push it up a little bit. That's perfect. Okay. These turn out very nicely. It's a little more time consuming. But, like I said, it's, I think the results are much better than, um, you know, gluing the whole sheet on thin cardboard and cutting it out. Like I said, you, you're going to have to, you know, spend money for blanks, but they're just thicker and they just work, in my opinion, they just work better. So, I can do about, let's see here. I can do about two per minute, like trying to line them and stuff. So you're look, talking about, you know, you can do about 120 after cutting. Of course, cutting takes a little bit of time. You know, I cut, I cut them all out by hand with scissors. I don't use cutting board or anything like that. So, but after they're cut, mounting each one, about two per minute, so you can do about 120 per hour on average. Um, the glue does start to stick to your fingers over time, so it's probably best to wash your wash the glue off your hands every few minutes. And then this is the last one. Okay, that's pretty good. Nice. Okay, reflection. Check in the reflection for the glue coverage. Okay. And then I bend it. 
Again, I'm bending a little bit so the edges will not stick up. Okay. And out of all, there we go. And out of all my games, uh, counters that I've created, I've created probably several thousand from my print and play games um, or play testing. Uh, I've never once had a counter come apart or the edges come up. Or, so th this works very well in my opinion. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what kind of glue stick. This is a, this is a Japanese brand as you can see. But um, you can probably buy this in whatever country country you live in. You know, it's just a basic glue stick. Okay, and that's it. I put these over here, and then this is what it looks like um, printed out. These are the wound counters for battles Vietnam, and uh, this is before it's cut. And like I said, I can cut uh, with just scissors. I hand cut. And you just got to be careful and try to get right in the middle of the lines. And then this is what, this is all of the, uh, these are all of the optional counters for battles on Vietnam. As you can see, there's about, what, there's 60 here. And uh, the results are very nice. And they'll probably last uh, a very long time. And thank you for watching.